everyone so today i wanted to do like one of those back to school videos everyone's been doing hey everyone so today i'm very excited about this video a white tank top pencil skirts are really really in right now i'm obsessed with fashion like crazy this brown braided belt just to cinch it in the waistline hello my gorgeous girlies out there so today i'm going to be doing my may favorites video hey everybody so today i'm going to be doing one of my favorite videos ever when will i wear this i don't know hey everybody so i'm so excited to be back hey everybody so yet again i'm recording outside because it's just so beautiful video time visitor or i don't know where she is but i have a little visitor somewhere behind here it's my dog miley this past friday september 20th was my 15th birthday my monogram collection and if you guys don't know what a monogram is it is on my neck right now much homework to do and i also like to do a little planning with my day designer i get a drum roll please university of georgia baby <laughs> what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello my name is danielle it's very nice to meet you go down so we're playing kentucky today we're hopefully gonna win that'll be fun to do a get ready with me like kind of like what i wear when i go out and to also show my outfit for when i go out so you guys can get ideas and stuff good morning good morning everyone it is a new week here at uga it's the weekend i'm nervous but i'm really excited and i should probably start driving about to record a new episode of gals on the go Brooke and i record remotely so she's in boston i'm in athens and come back to my channel if you're new my name is danielle it's about more taboo topics i guess for girls today is a big day my family is finally getting a new puppy <laughs> I'm so grateful for this space. Thank you to this space. So many good memories in here. Let's get some. Oh no, 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 no. Welcome back to an unfiltered, unedited. Hi guys, welcome to my Grand Village apartment. Come on in. Welcome back. I normally do week in my life. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Danielle. It's very nice to meet you. Today is going to be a very special video because as of a couple days ago on June 24th, it was my 14 year anniversary on YouTube. I seriously get so emotional thinking about how 14 years ago I started a YouTube channel called The Makeup by Danielle, even though I know nothing about makeup and started posting videos and now we're here. I live in New York City, living my dream and I'm still making YouTube videos every single week. And it's just so crazy how many of you have stuck around for that long. Like when I meet people in person or even people that comment that say, oh, I've been following you since you had braces or I've been following you since you announced where you were going to college. I've been following you since high school where you would wear college shirts every day or I remember your dog Miley, which ugh, gets me every time, my old dog. But it is so crazy and I got so, so emotional the other night thinking about it. Um, and I made this little video to put on Instagram and TikTok just showing like a ton of different videos I've made throughout the years, kind of just different milestones on my YouTube channel. And the comments that you guys wrote seriously made my life and just made me feel, you know, sometimes you gotta feel validated and it really validated everything and it just felt so warm and cozy that so many of you have been around for so long. So anyways, with all that being said, I was like, I'm doing these videos and posting them on TikTok and Instagram, but like YouTube is the platform that I've been on for 14 years. So I was like, I'm gonna do a video. I don't know how this video is gonna do. I doubt many people are gonna click on it, but you know what? This is for my OGs. We're just here, right here. I just wanted to film this little bonus video and I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions kind of related to YouTube, my YouTube career, like things throughout the year, stuff like that. And I really love the questions you guys asked. So we're going to get into it and I just want to say thank you guys so much. I literally love you 
endlessly and it's just I was really reflecting and I was thinking how special it is that I really do have the last 14 years of my life to go and reflect back on oh my god I'm gonna get emotional again it was so funny I was like definitely emotional but I was like sitting here alone so I wasn't like crying or anything and then someone commented after I posted my video and they said little did she know and I, I broke, I lost it. I was like, wow, little did she know that when I was starting that YouTube channel just for fun, like literally didn't even tell my parents where I'd be today. And I will never forget that. And I'm beyond grateful for all the memories for starting Girls on the Go with Brooke. I met Brooke through YouTube and all the friends I've met through YouTube, all of you guys, all of the meet and greets and meetups we've done. Like we used to do meetups where it'd be like, hey, meet by this statue in Central Park. And now it's like, we have full blown security. Like, this is crazy. What was your favorite type of video trend? Has it changed over the years? Obviously, if you ask me today, I love doing making my life vlogs. I think you guys really like them too. However, I do love, I don't miss because they took a lot of work and I was always comparing myself, but I do miss those like the 2015, 2016 year of, or maybe, what was it? Like maybe 2014, 2015 of YouTube, like, super saturated videos, back to school hacks, the back to school videos, the morning routines. Like you guys should go back and watch my old videos that I did in high school. Like they were so well produced. Like I, who is she? Like I was acting in them. I was getting all these different shots and I would still do those videos today. However, I feel like you guys just want the vlogs. Um, so it's, I, I do love, I. I really did love that era. How did you navigate breakups while living online? So I think I had one, maybe two breakups during my time on YouTube. I had one when I was in like middle school, I was on YouTube, but it was different. And then my other breakup, he was also a YouTuber. So that was definitely interesting, but I've, I've never been the type of person to be like, like I wanted to share as much as I could with you guys because our relationship was so public. It was different if like my current relationship is a little bit more private. I feel like I talk about it a lot. However, that relationship was so public. Like he had a YouTube, I had a YouTube. So I feel like I, feel like I was very transparent and I made a whole video when we broke up. And I, so that was like my way because also it was easier because he, you know, also was posting about it. And we have a great relationship to this day. But um, thankfully I've never had to navigate like something where the other person was really private or my relationship wasn't super private, but because I, I do like to share with you guys um, and maybe I share too much, I don't know, but yeah. When was the first time you introduced Ryan to YouTube? When I was going through my videos watching, I was like trying to think about the first video I put him in. I don't remember the first video I put him in, but I think the first video I like talked about him in was a and a like life update video in my college apartment and i remember i put in the title like new boyfriend question mark or boyfriend and that was kind of like the true announcement that i had a boyfriend but it's so weird because back then i mean everything would have been so different now like i feel like i probably would have announced him on instagram first it would have been like you know soft launch hard launch like that word didn't exist the first time i ever posted him on the internet i think was a photo of him and i on a sorority date night and i was holding like it was like a mai tai so we were, i was like hey that's my tie so random and people were like what but i don't remember youtube it, it was a little bit longer i put him on youtube because it, that's his voice that's video i think like maybe in vlogmas or maybe like in a college weekend in my life like on a game day i actually don't know did you ever feel like stopping youtube literally not once not now not ever i love youtube so much i feel like it's where i've built my community like i don't see myself ever leaving youtube because this is where my community is fostered. And then I do have other platforms that I love to be creative on and express my fashion, my love for fashion and beauty and everything else. But it all starts here. And I'm very grateful that you guys still watch me on here. Someone said, wait, did you go by Daniele or what was your old social name? I swear I'm connecting the dots. So the variations of my name. So I always was the makeup by Danielle. That was my username. And then I changed it to Danielle Marie. And then I switched it to Danielle Marie Carolyn. And that's what it is now. Sometimes I'm like, should I just switch it to Danielle Carolyn? But I did Danielle Marie Carolyn in case people were still searching Danielle Marie. Um, on Instagram, however, though, I was, I don't remember the order, but I was the makeup by Danielle. And then I think I was Danielle Marie. And then Danielle Marie YT, which is like so, but a lot of people did. It was like Danielle Marie YouTube YT. 
And then I did a huge switch to Danielle Carolyn and I got verified on Instagram. So it was like a big deal. It's like, oh my God, it's her last name. And it's so crazy for the longest time. I didn't like my last name, but now I'm like, I love it. Danielle Carolyn. That's such a beautiful name. I, I just, I have certain people in my life. I'm like, oh, that's such a cool last name. But like, I love Danielle Carolyn and it's just a great last name. So I'm just going to hype myself up for a second. Is there something that you miss from your old self? Lots of love for you. Um, I feel like there's parts of me that I still have taken from my old self. Like, I'm still just Danielle Marie, like, that girl, I feel like. However, like, going through my old videos, I really didn't give up. Flip. <laughs> I mean, well, I didn't curse when I was younger, but, like, I didn't. I just was so free. And I truly just made whatever video I wanted. I wasn't worried if it wasn't going to do well or whatever. Like, I just would post, you know, whatever video it was. My summer lookbook that day. Because that's what I wanted to do. And ultimately, that's what got me here. And I think that's a really good message to you guys if you're wanting to start social media. Like, just post what makes you happy. Like, still to this day, like... I enjoy doing make my life vlogs, so I love to do it. However, I want to do a little bit more fashion videos, so I did a fashion video recently on YouTube. It didn't do as well, but I didn't care because I knew for those people that watched it, it hit, and I enjoyed making that video like no other. Same with this video. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, but I do miss that because I, when I was younger, I just always did that. I didn't care what I posted at all. Do you ever miss your college vlog days? I love rewatching them. I love rewatching them too. Of course I miss my college vlog days. Like I am a super nostalgic person, as you guys probably already know. So yes, I do really miss my college vlog days. I just feel like they were so fun. I was always doing something different or maybe I was traveling on the weekends or with my friends. I was really grateful that a lot of my friends wanted to be in the videos and the dorm vlogs, like silly late nights with like my hallmates. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I get to go back and watch. And I think some of my friends from college will go back and watch too. And they'll text me and be like, I'm rewatching this. Like I miss graduation or whatever. Um, so yes, I do miss them. How often do you look back on your old videos? Does it help you remember your childhood? I'm actually weird. Okay, I know I'm so nostalgic, but strangely, I don't go back and watch my old videos a lot. Like I do it maybe twice a year where I like go, even I just look back at thumbnails, like I'll just scroll through past videos. I don't know how to explain it, but like when I watch them, I'm like, like it's easier to look back at photos, but when I'm looking at videos, I'm like, oh my God, like I miss that so much. Or, oh my God, that was so embarrassing. Or, oh, like, it gives me this strange joy, but sadness at the same time that that isn't my life anymore. Even though I love my life now, I am so nostalgic. Like I cry every time I move, like it's just a whole thing. Someone said, I'll never forget your summer camp essentials video. I think that's how Brooke found me on YouTube. At least that's how I found her on YouTube. And I think that's what she said. That was so fun. My mom and I went to like a local park and I brought my Eno hammock and all my essentials that I was bringing to sleepaway camp that year and made this very well produced video, which is just so fun. So thank you. I, I loved that video too. I auditioned for your collab channel in like 2010, LMAO. Oh my gosh. But I was in a few collab channels, one of which I created. I like made one. I, I There were so many different names. There was like hashtag collab. There was like seven glitzy misses. I, and it was like each day of the week you would post it like one of the people in your group would post a video So like maybe one of the day one of the week uh, So for example, I was Wednesdays and then someone else was Thursdays and like every Wednesday you got my video every Thursday You got Marissa's video, whatever it may be and I was in a few club channels That was so fun and you would audition and like I auditioned for others and I got into some I mean I auditioned for a ton and didn't get into all of them and then I created my own it was so fun. How and when did the revenue start coming in and was that a convo with the parents too? Yeah, so I didn't even tell my parents about my YouTube channel at first and back then it was so different. Like now I feel like everyone knows the drill, everyone knows how to do it, but it was so confusing and there wasn't like a TikTok on how to make money on YouTube, you know? It's definitely a little blurry because it was so long ago and it all happened so organically, but I feel like I, I applied to become YouTube partner, which at the time I think you had to hit like 5,000 subscribers to hit partner and that's when they could start running ads on your videos. But then I also signed with a network, which I was so, or management, I was so excited. It was a network slash management um, style hall. And it was like, I just felt like I made it. I was like, I am with style hall, heck yeah. And they helped me get like a higher CPM rate. Um, and then I started making money. So obviously my parents had to be included in that because I was under 18 and they needed to like sign contracts for me and, and I started to get invited on trips and stuff. So, 
definitely needed them involved and they were so down i mean there was nothing i mean they obviously read through the contracts and everything but they were so supportive and they were like why would we stop you from doing this they obviously watched all my videos and monitored there are certain things i did and they're like maybe don't post that like just random stuff that they thought like creepy men wouldn't be into but or would be into i do i did see this question someone asked what my first brand deal was i don't remember the name of the company but it was a jewelry company and i'm forever grateful to this jewelry company because i was like i made it I got paid $500 to, I think it was a YouTube video. Yeah, it was to do a whole YouTube video about this one like heart necklace. And it was the craziest thing. My dad's going around town. Yeah, Danielle's making $500 on a video. Like I, it was really cool and I was so excited. And that was like my first one and I didn't get a lot at the time. I mean, that was my first one. And then after that, it, it's not like they were coming consistently. So, and I remember after that, they were like $150. I was like, oh, but I got 500. So. Funny stuff. How do you feel about your old preppy style? I legit based my middle school self on you, lol. I have no regrets. I feel like that was such a fun time on YouTube. The preppy style, like the J. Crew, the bubble necklaces, the Lily Pulitzer, that was very in at the time. And I feel like now it's in in a different way. But I had so much fun. It was so fun filming my monogram collection or come shop with me at Vineyard Vines or I would do like the preppy tag and there was all these other YouTube girlies that had the same style as me so we would do collabs where like I'd post a video at the same day as them and then like, we'd link each other's videos. It was a really fun time and that's kind of how Brooke and I became pals too because we had the same style. Obviously she was living in New York, I was living in Florida but we were just living very parallel lives. How did you learn to do SEO for videos back when you didn't have a management team? I didn't. When I didn't have a management team, I was literally doing like descriptions like, hey guys, it's Danielle, enjoy this summer haul, XOXO, like that was it. And then when I, not style haul a little bit, and then I signed with another network slash management, um, I remember having like strategic calls and I learned what SEO was and I learned like, we gotta up your titles, we gotta make your titles have words that people are searching. We should redo your thumbnails. You know, we need a bold font so people know. Like, and that stuff has stuck with me to this day. Um, and I think with thumbnails, it really hasn't changed. Um, I think aesthetics have changed for sure, but with thumbnails, I've always learned you have to make it very bold and something easy for people to see and know what it is because then they immediately want to click on it. Like, I love my, my thumbnails I do now. I feel like they're very consistent. People know to, what to expect, but sometimes I'm like, should I go back to like, my old bold thumbnails where it's like you know probably not like this is more me but um yeah i definitely remember having calls with like huge decks talking about like use these words like if it's this if it's a morning routine video say like productive morning routine dash hacks tips and and advice like just to put those words in that people are searching um, that is not something I knew on my own because it wasn't talked about. What did Ryan think of your videos when y'all first started dating? I love this question because when we met, it was like at a bar late at night and he, I was like a little drunk. So I don't remember everything I said, but he tells me that he asked me like, what my hobbies were, what I like to do for fun. And I said, I like YouTube. You know, maybe I did say I make YouTube videos, but I don't think I would have. I think I said like, I love YouTube and he was like oh okay anyways he like goes home to the fraternity house that night and he's like talking to his friend about me and he's like yeah I met this girl Danielle and I think somehow some describing factor came up either that the sorority I was in or who my friends were or that YouTube was my hobby and his friend who's one of my very good friends now was like wait dude she's like a YouTuber social media girly pop whatever and then Ryan looked me up but I didn't know this like Ryan didn't tell me this and then I remember like you know, because then when you meet a guy, it's like next time you go out, you're texting him like, hey, I'm at this bar. And then he like shows up and you're like, oh, I'll get him. He showed up and we were just hanging out, dancing and stuff. And these girls came up to me and asked me for a photo and asked him to take the photo of us. And I was like, he is probably so confused because I didn't know that he knew. But he was so chill, like, and in that moment, I was like, he is so chill with this, like, thank God. And I said to him, I was like, oh, we'll have to talk about it later. And he's like, I kind of know. And I was like, okay, cool. But so, yeah, I don't know if that answers the question. Were girls at school mean when you first started your channel? To my face, everyone was very supportive. Like, a lot of people didn't know. I was so secretive. I mean, even now, I'm, like, weird. If I get in, like, an Uber and they're like, what do you do for work? I'm like, marketing. I don't know why. Just, I'm... I think it's something built from 
when I was younger and I would always just kind of white lie and say something else um, or just not tell anyone about my YouTube because back then no one asked you what you did. They just said, where do you go to school? But now it's like, I'm post-grad, so what do you do? I, I'm very, very grateful because I know most people have not had this experience, but I truly was not bullied to my face at least. I'm sure people said things about me behind my back. And there was a time in high school when Yik Yak came out and there was like things about me on Yik Yak, but then our school shut it down literally so fast. And it wasn't even anything crazy. It was like, my username was The Makeup by Danielle and it was like, The Makeup by Danielle, why aren't you wearing makeup to school? And I was like, okay, if that's what it, okay. Um, but I was like, joke's on you. Like, I love what I do. I do remember though, the first day of high school, the first day of high school, this is a school that was pre-K to 12th grade. So I went in and there was a lot of new people in my grade. Like ninth grade isn't a year that a lot of new people would come, but there were a lot of people that had been at this school forever, whatever. So I was already a little nervous. The first day of school, someone gets word about my YouTube channel and they do an interview with me like by the lockers about my youtube channel and i was like oh my god like i felt so cool of course but i was like whoa and they printed that shit fast the first week of school they're passing out the high school newspaper and there's like a whole like my photo and all about me so everyone i remember that day everyone's like oh my gosh like it was nice but i remember being feeling like kind of everyone was looking at me um but that's like all my teachers found out i mean it was honestly maybe it was for the better i didn't have to worry about it because after that everyone knew I do remember one time in health class, someone put my YouTube video on the screen and I wanted to die. I did hate that a lot. I was like, can you, like you guys can watch my videos. You can go stalk my videos. Can you not do it in front of me? Did you ever think about a different career after college or was it always gonna be this? It was not always gonna be this. Like there was, until I got to college, maybe my junior year of college, I realized, oh, okay, I definitely can do this post-grad like, and I will be financially okay, which was a crazy thing to happen, but that wasn't my intention ever. Um, my intention was always to um, get a job post-grad in corporate, um, but I didn't really know what that looked like. I had just switched my major to fashion merchandising, so I knew I either wanted to get into the PR world or work on the other side of influencer marketing, or a, for a long time, I thought I was gonna be a performer of sorts, whether that be in theater, not Broadway, I'm not really a good singer, <laughs> but I knew I loved dancing, I loved acting, and the arts in general. Um, so I know that I would have probably gone either one or the two routes. But there was a time I was like, maybe I'll be a manager for influencers, because I had so much experience. So, yeah. Oh, Ryan's FaceTiming me. Hey. I am filming a YouTube video. I'm getting a lot of questions about like pinch me moments or I made it moments throughout the years. This is a really hard question to answer, but a few that come to note, I remember when I got to go on a Lily Pulitzer brand trip, that was crazy, it was to Palm Beach. I got to stay at the Breakers Hotel, I got to bring my mom. They paid for this full photo shoot and it was so unreal, we just felt like celebrities. It was crazy, I remember being like, and Lily Pulitzer at the time was one of my favorite brands, so that was just nuts. Um, another time I did a photo shoot at an amusement park with garage clothing in Canada and I was under 18 and I needed someone to come with me and it was a whole thing my mom couldn't go so my aunt literally flew in from Illinois to Canada so I had a guardian with me so I could do that and then just the meet and greets we've done throughout the years I remember Kenzie Elizabeth and I did a meet and greet in, at Roosevelt Field Mall with garage and the line was unreal the mall oh not New York. I mean, New York was great. The Chicago one. People were on the second floor looking down. The line was huge. My grandma was there. It was so special. And I was like, all these people are here to meet us and talk to us and hug us. And that was unreal. So just like some of those opportunities, some of the brand trips. It's so crazy like how brand trips are having a moment in the last few years. People are like, wow, brand trips. I've been going on brand trips for a long time. And they really have stayed the same. Like you get the stuff on the bed, you have activities. And I love brand trips for that. It's so funny, like the deliverables for brand trips now versus then, like then it's like, oh, if you don't mind including us in your vlog, but now it's like, can you post X amount of stories per day while you're on this trip or make two TikToks? And now it's so funny because I still end up vlogging anyways because I'm used to vlogging brand trips, but the brands really are more so wanting the Instagram and the TikToks of it all. That's all I'm gonna answer for now. I really enjoyed talking to you guys about this. Again, I know this video might be silly if you've only been watching me for like a year, but maybe you learned something and I just wanted to sit and reflect as a thank you to you guys. I'm gonna try and just edit this and get it up ASAP because the anniversary was this past Tuesday. So or Monday, on Monday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always supporting me. Dan fam, 
she believes she could, so she did. Ice Vanilla Latte Gang. All the, There's been so many phrases throughout the years. It's just so crazy. I am forever grateful to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time for my next video.